everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and I am, whoop, hang on. Hey, everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and continuing on here, decorating this uh, historical journal of mine. Um, okay, so this was the one that I did a fabric collage cover. Let me arrange this a little better. Okay, whoop. I'm going to touch that on the book to focus it. Okay. Uh, so I'm just kind of meandering through here. Uh, I've reinforced the signatures a little bit. And um, that's what the spine looks like. So I'm just going through. I have this. Where is it? Here it is. Um, collection. This was an early day of fundals. And I used to gather my own things together. I just little neat pieces of paper. Here's some. I think this is scrapbook paper, but it's really pretty. And um, like little bits from old ledger, 1940. I mean, whatever it is, I just, I just love this stuff, and I, I can't stop myself. Um, old like vintage wallpaper. Oh, you know, I don't know. It's, it's a thing. That's all I can tell you is, I, I've gone, I've gone to the dark side of junk journal making. I just go in and whatever. Um, Okay, so let me start from the back. I feel like I've been putting a lot in the front. I'm not following my own pattern. My own pattern, which I veer off of often, is um, go through each signature, put one thing in each signature, and then go back to the beginning, put one thing in each signature. That way it's a well-balanced book. And I don't remember where I left off. So the front tends to get a little more heavily loaded um, because I forget where I was. So maybe I'm going to start from the back today and fool myself. <clears throat> This, this is, there's no rhyme or reason to this. It's just the way I'm doing it today. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, I like that. I love this paper. This is so pretty. I want to do something with this. All right. We are just going to turn it into a very simple pocket. It is a scrapbook paper. A little, it's a little thicker than regular. It's about, um, it's not super thin. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not super thick, but it's not super thin. But I think it's fine for a pocket with one or two items in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a simple pocket. Now, this pocket I could put anyway. Maybe I'll put it this way. So you weren't seeing that coming, were you? Okay, I'm going to do that. All right, let's see if I can get my Fabrifix working today. All is well. Fabrifix glue. Oh, you're, yeah, you're kind of working. You're a little mad at me. That's okay. No, it's good. I think I just have to get it rolling. If it gets exposed to air, it'll get a little thicker. So I'm trying not to get it exposed to air if I can. Um, and you can add a little bit of acetone to the bottle to thin it a little bit, but it will cause your glue to take longer to dry. And that's what I'm trying to say. Yep. 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 And maybe I'm going to use this baby birds in a nest. Um, get my. I do like these little images. They're so cute. Um, uh, I'm going to just cut some of these out. Maybe make a little bifold, but these are just so darn cute. I can't stand it. Um, there we go. Okay. Cutting all the white off. And I think I'm going to make two little, little booklets um, like this out of these. These are from the, um, it's a digi kit I have in my Etsy shop, but it's the smaller, uh, I try and give you a variety of, um, oops, something just fell off there into the grand unknown. Huh. Okay. Um, sizes to use so that you have some, you know, uh, ways you can play with these things. And now I'm going to demonstrate a way that you can play with these things. The smaller ones can be turned into little mini booklets or little, um, things that have writing area on the inside. That's kind of cute. All right. Got some ink on here, I'm sure. So we'll just decorate these babies up. So that, this is kind of a craft with me. If you just want to see random ideas on how to decorate a junk journal, I try and think of different things as often as I can to, to give some variety to the book. It's just my style. Um, it's not mandatory. You can not decorate the inside of a junk journal at all and it can be purely uh, a true writing journal um, although i like to make that mine an explore type book where you find little oddities and idiosyncrasy i don't know what i'm going to talk about like weird things you know what i mean weird things in the book 
and things that make you go, hmm, you know what I mean? And uh, when you get old, I don't know, when I get old papers in my hands, I get all excited. It's a strange thing. It's a phenomenon that overtakes me and I get all excited about days gone by and lives lived in other different ways. And when you do come across old handwritten letters or postcards or things like that, it really is reflective of that is what life was truly right like in that day. And you're not watching um, a movie about it, but you're actually peeking into the reality of what life was like. And uh, I think it's very revealing, kind of interesting, what they thought was important, what they thought wasn't important. Who, a lot of, you know, references in the old letters and old ledgers, who died, who went to visit who, the diaries, I have some old diaries I would, I would use. All right, let me get something to stamp here. I'm feeling like I want to do some sort of lined thingy. Okay, now I'm going to move my, my, my main thing. So I'm going here. Oh, maybe I could do purple. That would be kind of cool. So this was sitting here on my desk. Maybe I'll use it. Shaded lilac. This is a bit of a spring journal. It is spring. We are in the zone of spring, as it, as it is known in uh, most parts of the northern world. Spring is warm where the new little buds come out. And I'm going to just put these right together like that. Oh, let's see. Okay. Yep, yep. There we go. And we're going to call that done. Okay, so back over here. And you can do a lot of different things with these and how to place them in a journal. You could actually glue them, two of them, onto a page if you want to do that. You could do wraparounds with paper clips, do something like that. But today I think I'm going to just take these two little lovely bird images and uh, baby bird images and tuck them in here as a cool little find. Oh, that was fun and free, and this keeps tilting on me. Okay, there we go. Moving again? No, we are good. Okay, so all is well. That was the last signature, so now we're going to move into the second last signature, which is this last one was called Unknown. This one was called Unusual. Yes, this would be from a very strange book that somebody found at some point in their life um, as they were perusing the... Okay, let me get that wallpaper. That was kind of cool. And... Um, I feel like I want to do some fussy cutting out of this wallpaper. It's got some pretty flowers on it. Maybe I'm just going to go around and cut these babies out. It's kind of cool to think that this was old wallpaper, unused wallpaper, um, back from the day of when a lot of us used wallpaper. I don't know, is it having a resurgence? Anybody using wallpaper these days? If not, please give it to your local junk journal maker because he or she will have a blast with it because we love to use old papers in new ways whenever we get a chance so you'll just be you'll be feeding the monster shall we just say you'll be feeding the monster oh, that's really pretty i could ink it up but let me see where's the beginning of that one here oh that's kind of neat oh that's i like that a lot okay i don't know i just feel like i want to i don't is it going to be a pocket i don't know could be a pocket I think I'm going to make a weird little pocket out of it. Okay, which way do these flowers go? There's up. Okay, so let me ink it a little bit just so I can define it a little bit more. This is going to be an unusual, weird shaped pocket, but that's the fun about thinking outside of the box. You can cut things into different shapes. They don't always have to be square, or rectangular, um, anything like that. So this one, I think that's up. So I am going to put some glue here and along this bottom. All right, it's kind of a weird thing, but it's gonna be a little pocket. And then I'll come back and fill it later because it's it's gonna be gluey. I don't wanna get my ephemera in the gluey stuff. And along the bottom here, make sure I have enough so it holds. My glue is not happy with me. It's been fighting me. It's, um, it's, it's uh, having its, say like you shouldn't have left me all by myself you know what happens when you leave me by myself pam all right there we go and i'm gonna let the pressure of the book flatten this out remember this uh, wallpaper was on a bit of a roll so <laughs> and um i'll let the the weight of the book flatten it out okay what's that curious oh yes we can keep you curious here oh that's kind of cool that's nice Oh, I've been doing a good job in this section already. I, I kind of forget about what I put in here. Here's something. I need a little spot. Um, 
I seem to have this little plethora of um, remnants of sewing pattern paper and maybe maybe I could just do something with it. I don't know. Let's get the old glue stick out. We won't name any brand other than Scotch Grey Permanent Glue Stick because apparently that's what I have. But um, it's a little hard to find these days. But I think I'm just going to do a little mini collage-like thing over here. I don't even know what this is going to be as I'm making it. It's, this is called... This is called, this actually has no name and I'm pretending it has a name. This is called freeform collage. That's right, you just go in big and bold and start gluing stuff down to a page for no rhyme or reason other than you're, you enjoy gluing stuff to a page. And you're going to figure it all out later. That's the whole mental process behind it. There is none. And uh, here, here's a nice little piece of remnant paper of something. We'll, glue you down. Maybe I'll do a little layer design over using the thumb technique over the glue stick. Get yourself a good glue stick. You may have to try a few till you find one that strikes it or, uh, you know, home where you feel like, okay, I really like this glue stick. It happens to us. We, we, we're very funny about our glue sticks. It's, it's a deep, dark glue stick world. And we just never know what rabbit hole we're going to go down. And I don't know if it, this has happened to you, but I've gone and I've purchased other glue sticks. I've come home and I've I've wept tears um, because they they left me wanting. Yeah, and uh, so I mean I'm sure the Scotch 3M company can come up with another good glue stick, right? I mean it's what they do. It's adhesives. Okay, I guess I could use this side because I I like it better. Um, so really, I want to impress that there's really no right or wrong way to do this. Like I can be doing a collage here just for the fun of it. It doesn't have to have purpose. Often people will say, well, what is, what is thou's purpose of thou's junk journal? I have no idea if that's right. But um, I will say there is no purpose. It's just for fun and enjoyment. And if somebody finds purpose out of it, glory day, you know, some can have purpose. I'm, I, you know, there can be recipe books, dream books, um, you know, quote books. Yes, of course, of course. But um, they don't have to. So don't put a lot of pressure on yourself like, oh, I have to do the grand theme journal of, you know, the 2000s. It's, uh, you know, Harry Potter meets Spider-Man or something like that. Um, it doesn't, doesn't have to be. And if you're worried about using copyright images, you can, oh, I just tore that. It's okay though, because it's, because it's collage. It doesn't matter, which is so forgiving. Um, you can go themed. And what I mean by that is, uh, like, let's say you want to do something Harry Potter, but you don't want to run into copyright issues if you're going to sell the journal. But so you can you, you can do wizard themed things. You can use glasses and a wizard wand. I mean, you can use uh, like Harry Potter light things that aren't copyrighted, but are suggestive of that theme. And you can totally get away with that. There's no nothing wrong with that. So it's it's should be just fine as far as my understanding is. Um, so you, there are ways around that. So don't feel like you have to follow any, uh, um, you can't play because something is copyright. Take, take versions of it that like, don't use their things or their copyright printed things, but use, um, uh, don't scan them and print them is what I'm saying. Um, but you can build from a theme on loosely based on something. I guess that's what I'm saying. Okay, so. Uh, and if I say something wrong, please let me know because I'm not a copyright expert, but uh, double check everything with your copyright attorneys that we all have in our back pockets, right? Yep, okay. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. Do, 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 do. I'm going to shorten you up a little bit. There we go. I'm going to ink you up a little bit. Just get you a little bit uh, more vintage, Mr. 1940 Ledger piece. I wonder who wrote that in 1940. Sometimes I wonder about that. Like, who wrote that? What was their story? Oh, broke my nail. Sorry. Um, I'm going to get it fixed. Yes. Yes. I'm going to get it fixed this afternoon. Let's see. Oh, in about 45 minutes. So there you go. One extra fun thing to do today. That's okay, though. Got to zip over to the post office. Drop a couple orders in the mail because I missed the, the mail 
a lady. So, um, but I can still drop them off at the post office and get them in today's mail. So I do my best to get them out as quickly as I can to you because I know when you're waiting for something to come, it's, you just want it right away. Like I do, like, where, I, where is it? I'm waiting. I'm here. I didn't see it. Where is it, Bam? I know. I know. Um, so I do my best to get them out as soon as possible for you. Um, all right. Here's a little note tab. That's kind of cute. I'm going to put you up here for some unknown reason. So this was originally designed as a page tab. So it would have come out like one of these guys. But since I already have said page tabs on this in this journal, I'm just going to use this as a, a little random thingamajoo. Yep, that's it. Um, so there you go, folks. Nothing is uh, preordained for what we think we made it for. It can be altered at any moment just for a something. And now it's that. I don't know what you call that. Might have a name, might not. All right, so that was curious. Now we're going to go to oddity. Oddity. Okay, oddity. Let's see. What are we going to bring into your world? I'm going deep into this. Oop, dropping stuff everywhere. Oh, this is kind of cool. There's an old piece of an old, this is from 1898. Oh, can you see that? 1898, this piece of paper. That's kind of cool. So, I, yeah, anything with, like, I love to salvage these lovely pieces of paper. Uh, I might just, might have to alter his size a little bit. We will find a place for you, the Munzi. We will. Uh huh. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to, I'm going to glue the entire thing on here so they can look and appreciate. But it's going to cross the fold and be glued onto the other side. So I don't. I'm not actually losing any of the original. And this is a a very brittle page, so it, to have it fully mounted is probably a good idea because it would crumble or crack because it is so old. It's not a reproduction. It's an original piece of um, very old paper. And I want to honor it in all its glory. It's got some really pretty writing on this side, but, you know, you can't have it all in life. you got to pick your, pick your uh, what you want to show, and sometimes you have to cover it up. And apparently that is what I'm doing now, and, and I'm okay with it. It's okay. I could have used this side instead as an alternative, but no, looks like I'm going on the other side. That's what's happening. Um, I had a good game of pickleball this morning. That was nice. Yeah, I've got to move or less one gets crafter back and crafter bottom. You know what I mean? You'll take on the shape of your chair and sometimes that's what, that's as good as it gets and that's a okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But, um, it is good to get up and stretch and move and, and you don't have to be an athlete. But um, it is a good idea to, because we're we tend to hunch over uh, in the craft room, and maybe it's a good idea to stretch a little bit. So do counter moves gently, lightly, and under the direct supervision of twenty five uh, medical specialists. Whenever you do, um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, all right, uh, that's kind of cool. So not everything has to be a functional something, okay? And I'm pretty sure that's just fractured in the middle, but that's okay. It's not, it's still, you're going to be able to appreciate the full picture of the, the man on horseback, which I think is kind of cool. All right. Well, a little piece of that going backwards into mystery. Okay. Very nice. Um, I feel like this one might be a little bit loose and maybe I want to tighten this one up a little bit. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. We may have to figure this out together. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to be cutting this. That's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to have to let this baby loose. All right. Uh, I might just have to. It's not snuggies enough. Nope, it's not snuggies enough for this girl. We're going to. Well, what's going on? <laughs> I, mean, I need to. Oh, I hope I don't accidentally. This sometimes rockets out of my hand. Okay. I'm just going to get some string. Come on. Okay. What do we got here? Got some wax thread. And uh, so you're seeing me in the throes a bit. This is how it goes down on any given day. So I'm going to do one, two, three times the height. 
That'll give me enough. I'm going to sew it tighter. So this one. Okay. Thank goodness for these giant sized. Oops. Thanks goodness. Thanks goodness for this giant sized eyes and these neat. Okay. Thank goodness she said for the third time. Is Am I thankful? I'm not feeling very thankful at the moment. Okay. Okay, really. I'm going to flatten you out. Now you're going in. There will be no squabbling. I'm going to get a bit. Okay, you're lucky because I was going to go get another needle. All right. So this is now loose. Would have been helpful if I paper clipped it together because now I don't have to go find where all the holes went. Okay, found it. Here we go. Going through here. Doing the three hole pamphlet stitch yet again. All right. Now here. I'm headed for that. Okay. Uh huh. I'm gonna try to see where it comes through. Oh, okay. This is where I'm headed through here. Okay, this is a little tricky, but I can do it. I'm, I'm trying for that hole without poking myself. Nope. No, not even close. Nope, not yet. There, I'm in. Okay, I'm in the hole of the spine. That's good. Okay, ow, stuck myself. If you get the blunt end ones, you won't stick yourself. Yeah, so word to the wise. Now I'm going to go in here up top. Wiggle my way through. I'm, all, I'm through, just grabbing that one. Oh, where are you? There you are. Now pulling, 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 pulling. Can you see? No. Yeah. So leaving a little tail, important. Leave a little tail. And then come down here and get in there. Wiggle back and forth until you're through. Now head for that southern hole. Go through. Oh, now double check you didn't get hooked on here because this can cause mayhem. This happens all the time. Watch out for that. Double check before you pull taut. Now we're going back in the middle. Now we know middle is about here because we came through the middle at one point. So let's see. Oh, look at that. We are actually in the hole. Oh, glory be. All right, now we're coming through and we're pulling. Okay, so this is to make everybody snugly bugly and aligned with the other signatures. So um, I'm, okay, this is my bridge. These are my angel wings. And I'm going to make them, oh, we have a little crossing going on here. We do not, no, we do not approve of the crossing of the threads. We must clear the crossing. If you've sewn one thread into another, retreat, correct, and then do move forward again. Once all the dust has settled. Okay. Tight, snug, not tearing. Angel wing, angel wing. Under either side of the bridge. Tie it once. Right over left. Snug but not tearing. Left over right. Snug but not tearing. And then right over left because we, in case you forgot one and you don't remember because somebody came in and started talking to you. You know how that goes? And then you, you, I'm just going to turn this off right there. And now, oh yeah, this baby's like solid now, not going anywhere. And uh, that's why I wanted it to be more solid, this whole thing, because I made it a while ago and my technique wasn't as good or as solid. So I'm, I'm a solid stability. I've, I've hopefully improved a little bit. And um, I do have some threads on the outside of this, but I think it's okay because this is a material fabric collage covered thingy. And I think it kind of complements the design. So we're, I'm rolling with it. And um, okay, so let me find little Mr. Snuffer Pants and see if he has anything to say about the matter. Mr. Snuffer Pants, are you anywhere to be found? Oh, you're here. You're here on the, the floor mat waiting for a snuggle cuddle of the under nether regions. All right, we will deliver that en route. Get you all loosey goosey and ready. For your big moment. Are you ready? You better be prepared. You look like, hello everybody, sunshine. I just woke up. Okay, I'm not really looking my best, but um, I hope you look like a little, like you fell asleep on a wet, drooly face or something. What's going on here? I don't want to talk about it. There were things that happened when you were away playing pickleball, mother, and I shall not discuss them. No, this is my private business. Um, there was random mayhem, sunshine mayhem, and I slobbered a little. <laughs> And then I fell asleep in my slobber. <laughs> it doesn't, okay, okay, I'm going to, like, I need a bath. 
She's been bugging me I need a bath to get all organized and everything. So apparently it's bath day. I can't hide anymore. Nope, she said that's it. Family is headed back and um, Sunshine needs a, a good scrub down. So uh, I know my fate today. Are you getting a good scrub down today? I hope so. Um, love you all. Happy crafting. Sunshine out. Okay. Um, I don't know if they want to see right up your nose like that. We'll have to rethink that. Okay, um, so there you go, folks. If you don't know, I have a free monthly email newsletter that comes out once a month. <laughs> and it, it has a free digital image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page at the very bottom of every newsletter in the freebie section. Now, um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, Sundays now. And I have an Etsy shop if you're looking for digital images. I call them DigiKits. Um, I have a whole plethora of them for you to pick from and all sorts of different themes, uh, birds, Victorian, dragonflies, butterflies, flowers, all sorts of fun things. Um, and um, there's five pages each. I also sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting uh, papers, everything from uh, checks, receipts, postcards, handwritten letters, um, black and white photos, unique um, um book pages, vintage and antique, old uh, ha um, ha um, music, uh, dictionary pages, all sorts of fun stuff for you to decorate your junk journals with. And that can be found in my Etsy shop. It's called a fundal with an F. And I also sell a print and mail version of my DigiKit. So let's say you don't like to print or don't have a printer. I will print out for you 10 DigiKits. That gives you 50 printed pages on nice lightweight cardstock, this, this thickness. And um, you can use these, you can, I, I will mail them to you in free priority mail shipping envelope. And um, then uh, there's one flat fee for that service and uh, you can buy that in my Etsy shop. I have an uh, Amazon shop if you like, uh, maybe some of the tools or supplies that you see me use here, I try and put links in there. It does help my shop, but you don't pay more for the items for using my links. So thank you very much for your support. And also I have a t-shirt shop. Uh, a merchandise shop, if you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise. You can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip toady, mug tote, or water bottle. And you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Facebook group. And remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Take care. Bye.